How do you command respect with anyone in any conversation? It requires you to be this, a world-class listener. How do you be a great listener? Well, let me start with the foundation, which is that you listen to understand. It sounds obvious, but you should be listening with the intent of understanding the other person, not to speak. Because when you come in with an agenda, it clearly shows that you don't care about them and they won't care about you as a result. So what do you do to be a great listener? Well, let me give you three core tips. The first thing that you do whenever someone's speaking to you and then they ask you a question or they want your opinion on something is I want you to pause. Look up for at least three seconds, pause, nod your head, ponder on what they've said, genuinely listen and process it. But don't immediately jump in because the second thing you do, and this is the most important, is you paraphrase. You paraphrase what you heard and this is how you do it. So let's say someone were to elaborate about a concern that they have and you could say, I wanna make sure I'm understanding you correctly. Are you saying X? And X is a one sentence summary that encapsulates their point. Now, whenever you paraphrase like this, you then ask them, is that right? I wanna make sure I understand you correctly. You give the paraphrase, is that right? And then they can answer in one of three ways. They can either say yes, in which case you're ready to go and answer the question. They could say yes and, which means they confirm, but then they build on that. And then it's your job to go back to the paraphrase. You need to capture the essence of their elaboration and then again, ask for confirmation or they'll say no. And then they'll correct you on the spot. But either way, regardless of the response you get, it's all a good thing because you have indicated clearly to them that you care about what they have to say. They feel heard. Now, the key to this is you gotta go keep asking, is that right? And when they have finally given you this golden confirmation, this clear yes, that means that you are now at liberty to respond directly to the question. But you are not doing so until you've made that very clear. Now, what happens as a result? You've now bought yourself time to think through the most crisp, concise way to articulate your answer to that question. And you've gained respect that way. The other thing that you can do, and this is next level stuff. So after you've paused and paraphrased, that's what we call active listening. That stuff, if you can get that down, you're already leveled up as a top 5% communicator. But to go to the even more elite level of listening, you do what we call search for intent. Get the intent behind their question. So hypothetically, let's say that you were speaking with your chief product officer and your chief product officer were to articulate that she's particularly concerned that we've got many different initiatives and we've got to prioritize the top ones. What do we do? And you might then say, Martha, from what I'm gathering, it sounds like you're concerned that we've got too many initiatives that our teams might be too stretched thin. Is that right? Let's say she says, yes, that's right. And you can say, before I share my thoughts, I want to better understand what specifically concerns you about us being too stretched thin or what particularly concerns you about these projects that we have. Your goal is to ask these open ended questions to understand her why, his why, their why. Right? You want to understand the intent so that way you may answer, you may answer the right question. You may answer the right question because sometimes the original question they have is not actually the most meaningful one to answer. So if you then ask the question, what particularly concerns you about us going after seven different initiatives? And she were to say, oh, it's actually not the seven different initiatives. It's mainly that we have a brand new product person that's being thrown into the fire here. And I just want to better understand how we can utilize that particular resource. Oh, from what I'm hearing you say, then you go back to step two, you actively listen, you paraphrase, and then you get that final confirmation, yes. Now what you've done is you've answered the more important question. So again, ask those open-ended questions that start with what, how, or why. What, how, or why. When you ask those types of questions, they're gonna elaborate. They'll share exactly what motivates them to say that particular concern. And when you've done all those three things, you've paused, you've actively listened, confirming their understanding, and then you've gotten to the intent behind what they say, I promise you, people will look at you as, wow, they really get me. That person really gets me. And that's when you've commanded respect. Give that a try and let me know what you think.